I wanted to talk a little bit today about the dashboard information console that's here. You can see it's got the date and the miles and the time. It's got the temperature outside and what gear you're in. The top row there can be controlled with this button that's on the windshield wiper stock. And you can cycle through a bunch of modes. You guys have probably seen this already. So you can see your range. You've got two trip meters with uh, distance, economy, uh, your instant economy, which is like how your MPGs are doing right this very moment. I'm part, so it's not doing anything. Your average speed for the trip meter. And your travel time. Travel time is a counter that just keeps going whenever the key is in the ignition and the electrics are on. So it's not necessarily how long your engine's been running, but it's a pretty good estimation of how long your engine's been running unless you just leave your car or your van in the auxiliary position with the engine off, but all the electronics up and running. And then you've got a B trip meter as well. And it's also got the distance, average, and average speed and travel time. And that's, uh, that's the information console. But I wanted to show you something that I did here, and on the Uconnect menu, when you hit more, you've got your current, your trip A, and your trip B stats right here. And what I, this, this trip B thing is, for me, it's useful, but not in the way that you think it is. So what I did is, in the settings menu, and in your display settings, you go to the second page and there's a display trip B. And you can turn this on or off. I turn this off and what it does is now it keeps trip B from showing up when you cycle through your, your center console information panel here. So you can see we have our um, average MPGs for trip A, our instant economy, our average speed, our travel time, and then back to the date. And you can see there's no more trip B. What I do is I use, I've been doing this in my town and country for years, I use trip B as a mileage counter and an engine runtime counter for my oil changes. So every time I do an oil change, I reset the trip B. And you can reset trip B here just by holding it. And since I just changed the oil yesterday and I haven't driven at all, I can uh, reset my trip meter here. So now trip B will show my travel time or how long my engine's been running between oil changes. Now this didn't originally line up with the odometer and that's because I had this delivered from Ohio. Somebody drove it 700 miles to get here. Um, and then I also reset it accidentally when I was cycling through the mode display and that's before I found out that I can just stop it from showing up. But now I don't have to worry about trip B showing up here on the information display or randomly resetting it on accident. I can intentionally reset it whenever I change my oil and uh, Dodge recommends or I'm sorry Ram recommends uh, travel time or engine run time of 350 miles or 10,000 miles driven and this information display here will help you get a better feel for have I been idling too long um, you know idling is considered heavy duty activity and this is just my quick way of getting uh, an engine runtime and miles driven between oil change intervals hope this helps bye